Hello and uh, welcome to the video. Um, in this video, we'll uh, try and understand uh, an overview of UI5 tooling. Um, what purpose does it serve and how does it help us to, uh, you know, develop SAP UI5 applications? Uh, we'll also see that how we can uh, set up our SAP UI5 application to use this UI5 tooling and how we can run SAP UI5 application uh, locally in our machine uh, using this UI5 tooling. So for that, uh, we will just uh, take a sample application from the SAP UI5 documentation, the first sample application, the quick start step one. And from here, we download uh, this uh, application. So I've already downloaded it. I already have it in my uh, system available. Um, so let me just open this um, downloaded application in my Visual Studio code. All right. So this is the downloaded application for a uh, quick start step one, uh, index.html, index.js, package.json, and ui5.yaml. So in this project structure, you can see that there is a file called ui5.yaml file. Okay, so basically uh, this file indicates that uh, this particular application has been enabled to be used uh, for UI5 tooling, okay? This application can make use of the UI5 tooling tool chain and uh, we can um, use the UI5 tooling to uh, run this application locally in our system. So first of all, uh, we'll try and understand what is UI5 tooling and why it is needed, all right? So this is the standard documentation link from SAP, um, sap.github.io. So UI5 tooling is, it's a set of tools. It's an open modular tool chain, uh, which uh, can be used to develop uh, state-of-the-art applications based on the UI5 framework. So this is a definition, standard definition provided. It is a set of tools which can be used to develop SAP UI5 applications. That is what UI5 tooling is. The main feature of uh, UI5 tooling, like you can use, for you to use UI5 tooling, you have to install UI5 CLI in your system. All right, so UI5 CLI is a command line interface which provides a set of commands for you uh, to interact with your application and use the UI5 uh, tool chain. All right, so how we install, how do we have to install UI5 CLI is uh, there are two ways to do that. I, you, the, you can either install UI5 CLI globally in your machine or you can install UI5 CLI locally for your specific projects. And these are the two separate commands which you can run to install UI5 CLI. So let us run this command and we'll install UI5 CLI uh, in my system. So I'm just opening the integrated terminal here in Visual Studio Code. So currently I don't have a UI5 installed in my system. Like if I run any uh, CLI command for UI5, it will give me an error. So now I will uh, run this particular command and it will install UI5 CLI in my system. Okay. Um, one prerequisite for you to be able to execute this command is that you should have Node.js installed in your system already. If you don't have Node.js installed in the system, then you can go to Node.js uh, URL this particular uh, link nodejs.org download and you can first install nodejs in your system and then you can run this particular command uh, which will install ui5 cli so now you are ui5 cli has been installed in the system and uh, we'll go to the next steps now okay now we see here in this particular uh, project which we have downloaded uh, from the uh, SAP documentation, we already have the ui5.yaml file available with us, okay? Um, so if we don't have this ui5.yaml file available with us, uh, this means that we cannot, this particular project has not yet been initialized, you know, to use ui5 tooling. So let us to, you know, just to start from scratch, we'll delete this ui5.yaml file from here. And uh, as, as it has been mentioned in the documentation, 
that to configure the project for use with UI5 tooling, we have to you know, run this command, UI5 init. So what this command will do is, this command will create a UI5.yml file in the application uh, in the application project structure. This means that uh, our project has been now configured to use uh, UI5 tooling, all right? Now the question, the next question is, why do we need uh, this UI5 tooling? Why do we need this UI5.yml file in our application project? The main purpose is dependency management. So UI5 framework dependencies are managed by the tooling and all other dependencies are managed by your favorite node package manager. So what does this mean? Uh, maybe we'll just uh, get little more detailed information about it here in this link, development overview. And we'll go to project dependencies to understand why UI5 tooling, why this UI5.yml file is needed at all. So now UI5 tooling, what it does is it differentiates between framework dependencies and uh, project dependencies, all right? What are framework dependencies? So for our application to run, for our SAP UI5 application to run, say which has this code, it needs SAP.m library. It is using some of the controls of the SAP.m library, all right? So for our application to run, these SAP uh, libraries, these SAP UI5 libraries are needed, right? So these are framework dependencies, okay? So framework dependencies are generally libraries and themes provided by the SAP frameworks, Open UI5 and SAP UI5. And what UI5 tooling will do is, is that UI5 tooling will take care of downloading them and handling their versions for you. That is one of the main purpose, one of the main purposes of UI5 tooling. All right. So you, in your UI5 application, you might need n number of uh, SAP UI5 uh, libraries for your application to run, right? So to download those libraries uh, with, so with specific versions for your application to use, UI5 tooling will take care of it. All right. Now, what is project dependencies? Now, any other libraries, you know, apart from Open UI5 and SAP UI5 libraries, any other libraries, any other custom libraries, any tooling extensions or any JavaScript modules your project depends on, those are other project dependencies. And these project dependencies are managed by your favorite NPM node package manager. And these dependencies are maintained in package.json file. All right. Now. Coming back to UI5.yml file, this UI5.yml file is basically, it's a configuration file, which will hold the information that what SAP UI5, what framework related dependencies are needed for your project. Whereas the package.json file, which will hold the information that what other project dependencies are needed for your project. All right, that is the primary difference between the UI5.yml file and the package.json file here. All right. Now, how do we, you know, configure this UI5.yml file and how do we run our SAP UI5 application? Uh, we'll move further ahead. So first of all, as an overview, what it says states that the SAP UI5 libraries are hosted in the public NPM registry. This is the uh, registry URL. Now, however, you should not install them using node package managers like NPM or YAN. So what it is saying is that any SAP UI5 libraries which you need for your application, they are hosted on the NPM registry, but you should not use NPM, okay? You should, you should not use node package manager to install those libraries for your application. Instead, you, you should use UI5 tooling to handle them, all right? So that is the primary uh, reason why we need, why we use UI5 tooling. And that is the also the primary difference that why we need a package.json file and why we need a UI5.yml file. Now, it has been clearly mentioned here that what UI5 CLI will do since version 2.0, it will automatically download all required framework dependencies of a project that have been listed in the corresponding UI5.yml file. 
So any project dependencies which have been mentioned, which we maintain in this UI5.ml file, those dependencies will automatically be downloaded and it will be available for your project to use. They will be cached in a .ui5 directory located in users directory. And this happens transparently when you execute UI5 serve or UI5 build commands. So we'll do this in the system and uh, we'll see this in action. So basically the point is when we maintain the list of dependencies in our UI5.yml file. And once we have done that, and after that, once we run this UI5.serve command, Okay, UI5 tooling will automatically download all required framework dependencies for our project. <clears throat> all right, all the non-framework dependencies, which uh, such as any reuse libraries or tooling extensions, all those like non-framework related dependencies, those dependencies are maintained in package.json file and uh, they are handled by the node package manager. So here it has been, the difference has been clearly mentioned. At the same time, framework dependencies are listed in UI5.yml should not be listed in package.json as they will be ignored by the UI5 tooling. So framework, any framework related dependency you have to mention only in the UI5.yml file. You don't have to mention in the package.json file. All right, now, so now we have this ui5.yml file in our application. How have we got it? We, uh, we ran the command ui5 in it and this file was automatically created. Now we have to configure this, so this file. Now we have to configure this file so that uh, we can use framework related dependencies, framework related libraries in our application. So these are the set of commands which you can use. Okay, so before going to the, uh, you know, running these commands for UI5 CLI, uh, what we'll do, we'll just uh, execute the command uh, npm install in our project directory so that uh, any of the non-framework dependencies which are needed for our application, they already get, they already get installed. Okay, and those dependencies are mentioned here. In the package.json file. So we have run npm install command in our project and uh, it has created this node modules, node underscore uh, modules uh, folder and it has downloaded basically whatever non framework related dependencies are needed for our application project. So after running the uh, npm install command in our project, there is another prerequisite which uh, is needed for the UI5 CLI uh, to run is that it requires a manifest.json file inside our web app folder. Now, because we have downloaded this application from this quick start tutorial from the standard documentation, uh, this application doesn't have a manifest.json file, but uh, Many most of the times when you are creating a UI5 application, you will have a manifest.json file uh, in your project. So that is actually a prerequisite for a UI5 tooling that it needs a manifest.json file in our project. So what we will do is that we'll just create a bare minimum basic version of our manifest.json file and uh, we'll put the contents here so that uh, the SAP UI5 tooling uh, finds this, this manifest.json file here. So this is a prerequisite, uh, I think, which is not mentioned in the documentation, but uh, before you execute any of these uh, commands, you know, UI5 CLI related commands in your project, you need to have uh, manifest.json file in your project. Okay, so two prerequisite, basically uh, two prerequisite steps which you have to do before uh, running any of the UI5, uh, UI5 CLI commands is that number one, you should first run the uh, npm install command in your project so that any external project related dependencies are installed. And then you should, you need to have a manifest.json file mandatory in your application project. Now, once we have done that, now we can run this command UI5 use SAP UI5 latest version.
So now what this command has done, if we go and check, it has updated our UI5.yml file and it has mentioned the framework dependency that this particular SAP UI, SAP UI5 framework has to be used and this is the version which has to be used in our application. All right. Next, what we have to do is that we have to mention that what SAP UI5 libraries are needed in our application. All right. So in this application, uh, we only need sap.m library and uh, we only need the theme library which we are using in, in the code of our application. We don't need any other libraries. So UI5 add and then you know the list of libraries separated by space. If you run this command, it will again update the ui5.yml file. It will mention that, okay, these are the libraries from the SAP UI5 framework which are needed for this application to run. Now, once we have done this, so our UI5.yml uh, uh, UI file is uh, has been updated with the framework related dependencies. The next thing which we have to do here is that um, we have to update this information in our UI5.yml file that where is the resources, where are the resources for our application located in our project structure. So for that, we just have to put the resources configuration here and uh, we have to give the path for our web app folder, which is web app here itself. So we can do that. So once we have updated this part, the resources part, which basically specifies where the development resources, basically where is the code available for our application inside the web app folder. And we have also maintained all the framework related dependencies which are needed for our uh, SAP UI5 application. So once these uh, the information is updated in the UI5.yml file, now our project is ready uh, and it can be run you know, using the uh, UI5 tooling framework. Now to run the application, the command which we have to execute is uh, UI5. So, so what it has done is that it will, it has, uh, it will download all the framework re related dependencies which are needed for our application. And uh, it has started a web server and we can uh, run the application uh, by going to this particular URL. So you, as you can see that, uh, you know, the application has loaded. It's a very basic application from the tutorials. It doesn't have much. It only has a button which when we click, it says ready. So we can check in the developer tools that uh, it has loaded the required uh, SAP UI5 framework dependencies already. So if I just refresh this link, uh, we can see that and uh, SAP UI core JS, the, the related SAP dependencies have already been uh, loaded. All right. This is pretty much it what I wanted to cover in this uh, particular video. Thank you all for watching the video till the end. Uh, if you like the video or if you have any questions or comments about uh, the video, uh, please uh, do comment uh, in the comment section. I'll uh, definitely respond. And uh, thank you all and have a nice day.